Hello my friends in this video I will show you how you can install Java development kit and Visual Studio code to set up an easy environment for programming with Java first we'll go to uh, your browser and look for download JDK and then you can see that we got J Java SC Development Kit 8 and Java SC Development Kit 11. These two are some of the most stable versions of JDK right now. And personally, I would take JDK 8. It's been around for a long time and it will serve your job very well. Here, we don't need the demos and samples, so we'll stick with this. You accept the term agreement. Here I'm running Windows, so I'll go to the last link here Windows 64 version. And unfortunately, uh, uh, as of the current time, you need to create an account on Oracle to do this. It used to be uh, free of charge, but here you just need to create an account, and it doesn't take too much time to do that. So let's just do the job. When you have an account and you can log in, it will allow you to download the program. And here I will download it to my current folder. When you're done downloading, just open the file. Click next. Next. No, wait a second. I will change the destination because I will not install it to my C drive because it's in SSD with only 120 gig. I use it as a boot drive so I install it to D, but you can install it to wherever you want uh, of your preference. And let's click next for now. And it will ask you to install Java runtime environment as well. The same thing we we'll do for you. I'll install it into program files, Java. And I'll make a new folder here, JRE 1.8.0.231 and use that. Okay, now we're done with that. One thing I want to tell you to do is to go to environment variable because maybe if you don't have the path variable here like I do I have this one here but if you don't you go to your installation folder which is in program files Java JDK as I am having here and there's a folder called bin and basically you here you got Java to run the app and Java to compile it so what you're gonna do is to copy the address you go here and you make a new paste it here. Basically I have it so I don't have to duplicate but you if you don't see your bin folder here you would love to do it so that when you go to command line you go Java it works like Java minus V you see no sorry Java version and you have the version and Java version you see the version that means you're good to go now basically I think it's running the old version of mine so I will change it to the new one environment because I install the newer version that's why okay I'll take the newer version and we'll delete this one okay okay and we run the command line again Java and we see the new version exactly 231 
Okay, now let's move on to installing Visual Studio Code. Just search for VS Code and click on the first link. And for here, you can download the stable build for Windows. As I have this file here, I will just have it here again. But if you don't have that file, just download it and we're good to go. Now open that file up, accept the terms of agreement. And here again, because it's installed to local here, but if you want, you can actually change it to some other place. For example, like I am, I can change it to D program files and Microsoft VS Code, and we're good to go. Um, yeah, just create that file, or just we can add to sh the path. Uh, doesn't really matter. Leave things as default and click and saw. For some reason, it took a while for the setup to load. Usually, it won't be that long, but now we're good to go. Okay, now you run it. And here we go. This is my previous um, project on C++. But basically, this is what you see. This is the terminal. You can open it or close it by pressing Control and the tilt or Control tilt again I'll be there all right we're ready to go and now I'll tell you how to install it on Ubuntu okay so here I will tell you how to install Java and uh, VS Code in Ubuntu first you have to go to your browser and search for download JDK and then just go to JDK 8 as of my preference you can choose JDK 11 if you want Accept the term of agreement and look for uh, Linux xcc 4 gz Don't take the RPM because it's for Fedora. Okay, usual you have to log in with your credentials. And there you go, you can download the file. Okay, as it's downloaded, you will have to go to the download folder. Right? And now, just open the terminal on this folder. Now what you have to do is to turn this tar.gz file into an executable file, I mean, uh, an installation file by running this command make jpkg but unfortunately we uh, don't have this package installed so we have to run sudo apt install java package as indicated by the terminal input the password and enter to continue okay once it's done just run the command again and enter twice just don't worry about the warnings okay so now a new Debian file has been generated in your download folder now we will install of this file by running the command sudo dpkg sub i and then name of the file like so And now you realize that terminal tells you you missed one package called java common and as before just install this package by running sudo app install uh, java common
Okay, and then just run the previous command. And it's done. Now check with the command line Java version. Here we go. And Java version. Everything set. Now let's move on to installing Visual Studio Code by going to your browser and search for Download VS Code. Then click on the first link and look for Debian file. Okay, save this file. And do the same thing as you did for Java JDK by sudo dpkg sub i and name of the Debian file. Now it's not VS Code. I'm sorry about that. It's just code. There we go. And we're set. We can run the app off our application center right here there it is and voila here is our uh, coding environment for programming in java and now let's move on to install jdk and vs code on mac os hello and now we are gonna install jdk and vs code of our Mac OS. First, you go to Google Chrome and you will search for JDK. You see Java SE Development Kit 8. Click on that. You would like to accept the license agreement and search for Mac OS X64. Download the file. The usual, you have to log in. And save the file. At the same time, we'll download VS Code as well, so we don't have to do the next step. Look for Mac. Okay, we got these two files, and we're waiting for them to be ready. Okay, seems like our uh, VS Code has come faster, so we're gonna do that. Open the zip file that we downloaded, and we simply, where is the file? Visual Studio Code, all right, we just drag this to application, and we're good to go. All right, now look, it's gonna be appearing here somewhere. Visual Studio Code, there we go. Okay, this is it. The new version. Yep, this is the project that I worked on previously. Now we got all these, and JDK has already been downloaded. You open that file. Okay, and it's here. Double click on it to open the setup. And click install, input the password. Okay, it's done. I'll keep it anyway. It's pretty pain free on macOS, and you check it Java and Java. Okay, friends, that's pretty much it. Thank you for coming. See you.